Come on in, Brian. Come on in, my favorite brother. Come on. Yes, how you doing? I'm doing fine, Brian. Talk to me. What country has socialism worked in? Uh, I'll tell you what countries. I'm not. I won't give you one country. I'll give you many countries. I'll give you all the Scandinavian countries. Sweden. I'll give you uh, Norway. I'll give. In fact, if you take a look at my website, Norway has all uh, preaches what I'm talking about in healthcare. And we had a particular interview that went bri- viral. That here in America, because they couldn't believe uh, how good it was that nobody had to worry about losing their home and when it came to child care that they 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 could go to work effectively because they 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 had affordable child care so you're asking me questions the answer is norway sweden and many other countries now the 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 people like to use venezuela and cuba as an example it's a red herring but go on my friend yeah and what's the tax rate taxation rate in in norway very similar to what we have here. You see, we we get tax. I mean, it's about fifty percent. Let me let me explain. Right, our taxes run in a different fashion than it does in Norway. Everybody in America has to have car insurance. Everybody in America has to have health insurance. So while it's not called a tax in America, it is something you have to spend your money and buy, which is more expensive because on top of that. Uh, the the profiteers take money from your insurance for it for paying the to, for paying the, uh, the the CEOs and all these folks hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars. While in Norway, as opposed to paying it to these particular insurance companies, you pay it to the government, who then pays your healthcare bill without having to pay the rich guy some money. Continue, my friend. Okay, health insurance is not mandatory in the United States. No, but you have to actually wait. That let, let's correct something. You're correct. It's not mandatory. But if you, uh, brother Brian, it gets was. sick. If you get sick, Brian, and you go to the hospital, it's going to be paid for in the emergency room, and I am going to pay for it. Having had insurance, I will be paying your bill. So it's not it, it's a false thing when we have people saying, oh, wait a minute, but you don't have to buy health insurance. No, but when you get sick, we all pay for it, which seems like a tax to me. So, sir... Uh, I've just given you the example to the answer you've asked. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll answer real quick and then I'm, I'm sure you have to go. Hitler was a socialist. No, he was not. But actually, that's another red herring, sir. Hitler was not a socialist. Oh, it's not. Check it out. It worked out real well for six million Jews, didn't it? Like I said, don't try to scare people with red herrings. But I just explained to you in detail how things work. But thank you, Brian. I'll wait for you tomorrow. We'll talk tomorrow. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.